Our brains are set up to build habits so that we can learn new things every day. So for example, if we had to relearn everything every day, we'd be exhausted by breakfast. So we set up habits so that we can do what I call set and forget. We can set a habit and forget about the details so that we can learn new things. The problem here is some of these habits can become problematic where they become addictions. It can be really challenging to set a good habit. And often that's because we really are focusing on willpower and oh, I need to exercise. I need to eat healthy food. Yet that's not how our brains work. Our brains set up bad habits easily because they see how rewarding that behavior is. In order to break any habit or start a new one, we have to know how our minds work. So we start by bringing awareness in so that we can map out these habit processes. We can also bring awareness in to see how unrewarding our old habits are, which opens up the space for our brains to look for something more rewarding. And in fact, awareness and mindfulness itself can be that more rewarding peace, that bigger, better offer, so that we learn to become more aware, so we learn to be more kind as our new habits. Mindfulness can help us deal with anxiety in a number of ways. One is it can help us see what we're getting when we're getting stuck in an anxiety or a worry habit loop. Another thing awareness or mindfulness can help us do is see how worry isn't getting us anywhere. It's not keeping our family safe. It's not solving a problem. And the third thing that mindfulness can do with anxiety or worry is help us see that, oh, getting curious about those physical sensations of anxiety actually feels better. That curiosity feels better than getting stuck in an anxiety habit loop. One thing I hope to bring to this conference is helping people understand these simple processes about habits form, helping people understand that even anxiety can be its own habit. And as people start to understand how their minds work, I'll give them some simple tools that they can use to work with their own minds.